minus 15 seconds and counting. E minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, lift off. Minus 42 seconds into the mission, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. And we are preparing for max Q coming up in about 20 seconds. That is the moment in which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Everything looking good with, everything looking good with uh, vehicle performance and trajectory. traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up, we have three events happening in quick succession for those of you that have watched our Impact webcasts. engine chill has started. Those familiar with our webcast, this will uh, uh, be very familiar. Uh, we have main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second engine start one. Main engine cutoff is where all nine M1D engines, which you see uh, right now, fully lit, they will shut down, and that will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And that's where the first stage- the Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. First stage will separate from the second stage. Right after stage separation, uh, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth, targeting a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, Second Engine Start 1, or SES-1, and that's where we will light the single MVAC engine, and it will propel the second stage along with the SES-8. Main engine cutoff. Confirm stage separation. MVAC ignition. All right, there we can see a really neat shot of the first stage looking at the second stage, second stage looking at the first stage there's a beautiful view of both of those uh, stages one behind the other the one uh, towards the bottom of your screen that is the second stage with the MVAC engine now lit both vehicles are following nominal trajectories we're expecting fairing separation in about seven seconds separation and there we can see those fairing halves have separated this was the seventh flight for one fairing half and the third flight for the other fairing half we're now t plus three minutes and 45 seconds into launch everything looking nominal for both the first and second stages be sure to Acquisition keep a signal bermuda be sure to keep an eye on the stage one and stage two telemetry readouts on the bottom corners of your screen and that is a really cool view uh, we're able to see we're able to see both fairing halves um, as well as the first and second stage that second stage again is uh, the dot on the far left the brightest one because that's from the MVAC engine and I believe the first stage is actually the dot towards the bottom of your screen because we can kind of see those cold gas thrusts coming from it There on the left-hand side of your screen, we have the first stage, right-hand side, beautiful orange glow of the MVAC engine on that second stage. 
As I was saying, keep an eye on the telemetry there Both on the vehicles bottom. continue to follow nominal trajectories. On the bottom of your screen, we can now see uh, that first stage has reached its, its apogee at that altitude there. It's, it seems like it's hovering. It's basically at its apogee. It will slowly, uh, but then more quickly, um, lose altitude, indicating it's on its way back home to Earth. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will read light. That helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Over the next few minutes, you can also spot how the first stage uses its grid fins. Beautiful view there of those grid fins. Uh, those grid fins help steer the vehicle to uh, its landing coordinates. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins, and they're positioned near the top of the first stage. You might also notice those white puffs of gas coming from the top of the first stage. Stage one uses quick bursts of nitrogen gas to help with the orientation and attitude control. We're about 40 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. Everything continues to look nominal for the second stage as it carries the SES-18 and SES-19 payloads. We can really see that uh, cold nitrogen gas being utilized for that attitude control there on the left-hand side of your screen. Another form of steering that the first stage uses uh, is engine gimbling, where we actually angle the engines a couple degrees in either direction to help steer the vehicle. And we're about five seconds away from that entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn startup. There we can see on your screen that entry burn has begun. This burn Stage one flight terminations has been saved. This burn lasts for about 23 seconds. Five seconds remaining. Stage one entry burn shut down. Good one orbit. landing led deploy. SpaceX's 180th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket and the sixth landing for this particular booster, having previously supported CRS-24, Utelsat Hotbird 13F, OneWeb-1, and two Starlink missions. And as we heard just prior to... Full power. And lift off, OneWeb-3. Propulsion is nominal. Thank you. 
Stage one for tech startup. And there's all of those callouts for those milestones. So we had Miko stage separation, a stage one flip, second engine start one, and the start of the partial boost back burn. While a boost back burn is normally performed in order to return the first stage to one of our landing zones, here we are just performing a partial boost back. This shortened burn, possible due to payload weight, will allow us to recover the Falcon 9 booster much closer to the coast and shortly.